identify the products in the following reaction if you see the reactant 1 reaction 1 and reaction 2 ozone h2o2 and h plus ozone water and h plus these are the reagents that are there on the arrow means it is oxidative ozonalysis if ozone and zinc is there on the arrow it is reductive ozonalysis if ozone and water and h plus or h2o2 and h plus is there on the arrow it is oxidative ozonalysis now let us see the first compound uh, before before seeing the first compound uh, let us see what is the product of oxidative ozonalysis of alkene if this is alkene and if there is ozone h2o2 and h plus on the arrow it is oxidative ozonalysis then what are the products obtained here remove the double bond put plus in between convert the carbon which is forming double bond to carboxylic acid if the if one of the valence is satisfied by hydrogen convert it into ketone if there is no hydrogen on the carbon which is forming double bond again i am repeating in on carbon carbon double bond the carbon which is forming double bond remove the double bond there convert that carbon to carboxylic acid if one if one valence is satisfied by hydrogen if there is no hydrogen on the carbon atom which is forming double bond convert it into a ketone okay so what will i get here ch3 co oh plus ch3 c double bond o ch3 this is general reaction now let us see our reaction what is this reaction this this is the reagent so what technique i taught you remove this double bond and convert it into carboxylic acid so what are the products obtained here benzoic acid and propanoic acid ch3 ch2 cooh ch3 ch2 cooh these are the products obtained in the first reaction now let us see second reaction in the second reaction the reactant is an alkyne alkyne on <coughs> Ox oxidative ozonalysis alkyne on oxidative ozonalysis and what is the shortcut here erase the triple bond and replace it with a carboxylic acid means what will i get here ph ch2 cooh plus ch2 CH3, CH3, CH2, CO, OH. Okay, these are the compounds obtained. So now let us see the second reaction again. If alkane is subjected to reductive ozonalysis, if the alkane is an internal alkane, erase the triple bond and convert both the carbon atoms which are forming triple bond to a carboxylic acid if it is a terminal alkyne then one carbon atom will be converted to carboxylic carboxylic acid and the other carbon will be converted to carbon dioxide again i am repeating if there is triple bond here erase the triple bond and convert both the carbon atoms to carboxylic acid if there is a terminal alkyne if the alkyne is a terminal alkyne one carbon atom will be converted to carbon dioxide and the other carbon atom will be converted to carboxylic acids that is second reaction now let us see the third reaction what is the third reaction here If you look at the third reaction, uh, one of the reactant is C6H5CH2Br. It is treated with KCN. So, what will I get? C6H5 
CH2 CN. This is option A. This compound on hydrolysis. Cyanide on hydrolysis, what will we get? Carboxylic acid I will get. So C6H5, CH2, COOH we will get. These are the 